hello guys welcome back to my channel today i will teach you how to erase this png background in photoshop in a minute most of photoshop users have a problem like this that you are seeing now in your screen yes so like uh, if you are a beginner or practicing or coloring your favorite anime character most of the time uh, your download anime is not what you think yes this is the anime you like to download no background and ready for editing so this is my my sample Yan. so this is the outline yes and with no background so you see in your pitch in your screen and then but there is a chance that your anime line art will have a white background or PNG like this this is so frustrating and stressful guys so in our part of being a photoshop users so thinking how you can erase this packing background uh, searching for the answer on google search or in some youtube videos but you cannot find the best one but today here in my channel, in this video, I will teach you how to erase this frustrating uh, background in a minute. So let's get started, guys. <laughs> so okay, so let's get started. So this is our goal for today that we will erase the background, the PNG background here. Okay, so let's close our old document. Okay, so first, open your anime outline in Photoshop. Okay, so let's find our outline in Photoshop. Your public one. Yeah, that's right. So, okay. And in keyboard shortcut, control plus zero. Okay, to zoom in out and number two so go to the image and then select mode and then select the the rgb mode yeah rgb rgb color yes so why rgb color so because we are creating a graphic design so we must choose rgb mode for screen display so for for coloring purpose too so after that that you in the image and mode and then rgb color the third one is go to the image again and then select the image size okay and go to the resolution the 72 and change it to 300 pixels per inch so why so as you can see our image will be getting bigger okay so now did you see that so it means your document is now on a higher resolution so it is it is ready for for your coloring for your graphics design so that is why we change it to 300 pixels per inch so and number four so select and then choose color range okay so why color range because color range is the easiest way and fastest way to select the outline of your anime or image it is 100% uh, accurate best tool for this project okay so as you can see if you're a beginner in or you're the first time you will use your color range the fastness is will be in the 47 yes i think and then and change it to 200 so if you are beginner change it to 200 okay so as you can see in your screen and then select the zoom it your picture and then select the outline the color block so the call and select the eye dropper so select the eye dropper tool and then select the color block in your in your document 
in your picture and then left click in your mouse so like this okay so as you can see the your your block is are highlighted in this in this screen in the little screen that you are seeing in your screen <laughs> so anyway so if you do not understand what I'm talking about so just follow my best friend arrow and you will learn from this and then and now <coughs> excuse me and now uh, we select the invert okay so invert so as you can see uh, the background is being white so it means that he removed the background of the PNG okay so that's it it's already done and then click OK so as you can see now there's a, a blinking selection so let's go and go to the select again select a button in your navigation and then select inverse okay so select inverse and then control zero again in keyboard shortcut and let's create uh, number six let's create a new layer and then hide the background the in the layers panel hide the background and then seven um, go to the foreground color here in our photoshop okay this the foreground color and then set the foreground color to black okay change it to the black okay and then click okay and then so the background is hide and go to the edit menu edit menu and then peel just click it and then in the contents uh, choose the foreground color like in the this uh, set the foreground color background to black in the content so ch uh, choose the foreground color and then click ok so that's it we are already finished and boom your problem is solved and then go to the select and deselect okay so it's already done guys we are finished for in removing your png background in photoshop with your favorite anime character so that's it so if you want to check if there's no background left so create another layer in the above of the background in this layers panel so just follow my best friend arrow and then click add layer and then go to the and go to our um, layer layer 2 select the layer 2 and and then create you fill and adjustment layer okay so solid color and then choose the solid color what you like and then that's it guys it is already done so did you see that there is no more background in your anime uh, public anime character so choose whatever you like to check it your outline is clean and no more background that's it we're done and you are ready to color your public anime color guys and for the default so choose the white color and click ok and it's finished so it's it's well it's already finished so if you didn't if you did not that's my method so let's go and another chance again so go to the file menu and click open open your fabric anime character that you are downloaded in the google search open it and when you open it so you surprise that your anime is not 
already uh, outlined so it's have a background guys so it's post tracing so let's go to the image again and then mode and then change to RGB color <coughs> excuse me and then image again image again and then image size and then change the resolution to 300 and then click ok so that your document will be high resolution in graphics okay and then control zero and then go to our select and then color range again so as you can see in the color range the the option and the setup is already done so if you want to load this in every project you want and if you are using color range in different way so save these settings so save so that you can use the anime outline no png background every time you want to erase something like this so save that save this so anime outline no png background save it okay so it's already exists so just save it anyway and then load it so if you load the anime outline png background so it will be loaded and the settings uh, you can always use that guys so that's it that's the useful color range and then click ok again <coughs> ok so as you can see there's a uh, blinking selection again and then go to the select and then inverse and then add a layer and then hide the background go to the edit menu and fill so just always check the uh, foreground color if it is in black so it is black good and then choose the foreground color in contents and then click ok and we are finished so go to the select and then deselect okay so if you want to to more highlight your outline so just get it by in keyboard shortcut ctrl j so copy the layer ctrl j so that's it you see your outline has been doubled or ctrl j again so that it will be more highlighted so we're done so okay and just select the three layer and then merge it and then you're finished okay you can color your anime color uh, your anime outline so guys i hope that you learn about my animating today uh, and how to erase the background uh, the png background that you downloaded in your google search so i hope i help you a lot in this video and then until next time guys so keep safe everyone see you soon